This is the snake, I would say, in my opinion, that contributes to the unknown deaths in Sri Lanka. This is the very elusive crate, also locally known, uh, commonly known as the oil crate or the common Indian crate. This is Bangaro ceruleus. This is basically a sub-adult. Uh, this is the snake uh, that is commonly found in the dry zone. Uh, this snake kills more undocumented deaths in Sri Lanka and is more venomous than the common cobra. This is the biggest culprit of when people die mysteriously in villages. Probably it's the snake that basically attributes to most of the deaths in Sri Lanka. The crate is basically a very elusive reptile. It is uh, in Sri Lanka, it's known as Tel Karavalea and also known as Magamarua. Magamarua means death on the way. Uh, crates are normally encountered mainly at night. And when I mean night, normally at about one or two o'clock in the morning. They are very secretive in their habits. They're known to inhabit termite mounds and live um, uh, sometimes individually or in pairs. Uh, this snake is a pure neurotoxin and it's also known as a bungurotoxin because the uh, venom goes to act on the neuromuscular junction and 90% of the crate bites are from respiratory failure. Uh, it, is common, um, uh, it is common practice at the Polonaro hospital that during the rainy season to keep a bed awaiting in the hospital because they do expect people from snake bites that come in at night, especially after the first onslaughts of rain during the monsoons. Uh, some of the common manifestations of a snake of a crate bite is abdominal cramming. So you sometimes people will come at about one o'clock in the morning and say that they have a stomach pain in the lower abdomen, uh, and with, uh, and sometimes the diagnosis is so misunderstood by doctors that they think that they're coming for a different reason, but. Uh, if antivenom is not administered immediately, uh, uh, you'll have to probably go ahead and introduce a, respira um, um, a respirator ventilator because this snake will definitely put you into respiratory failure. A uh, little bit about this crate. The crate uh, is very easy to identify in Sri Lanka. There are a lot of mimics of the crate. The crate is basically very shiny. That's why it's known as an oil crate because when you look at the colors of this crate, it's very shiny. The dorsal scales and the lower scales are all shiny. And the reason I'm able to handle this snake right now with a little bit of ease is because crates are mainly nocturnal and they're rather passive during the daytime. But even though they are passive, you have to be, take extreme caution in handling crates. Uh, another way of identifying crates is that you can see the white bands. The bands are continuously throughout the body. And with age, these white bands disappear. Another way is that they have a black, eye, uh, black iris. And the most easiest way to identify a crate is that it has uh, undivided subcortals. See, in a crate, the subcortals are, are solid. So you can see the subcortals, they are not divided. So in a harmless snake, these subcortals will be divided. So the most common mimic of the snake will be is Lycodon olicus, which is known as the uh, wolf snake. A little bit of this crate, the fangs are fixated to the roof of the mouth. It is anteriorly grooved. It's similar to the coral snakes and the mambas and the cobras. And the fangs are very short on this particular snake. And it bites and holds tenaciously with the bulldog grip so that it injects venom back in very, very effectively. These snakes would not be released into the wild because these snakes are basically used for educational purposes to educate the public and show people what crates are all about. Now, you wouldn't be able to try this with this crate at night because at night, it'll be very active. And uh, Mark Boucher considers this snake to be the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde of the, crate, of the snake world. It is a very secretive reptile. Not too much is known about this particular snake. And uh, it is uh, either solitary or lives in pairs. So this is the elusive common crate also known as Bangalore Ceruleus of Sri Lanka.